With the project approved, you can move on to the organizing and preparing phase, where you will develop the project management plan. The project team uses the project charter as a starting point for initial project planning, where the foundation for the rest of the project is laid. In this phase you will work together with other team members to develop the project management plan that describes how the project will be executed, describes how the project will be monitored and controlled, and describes how the project will be closed. The time spent creating this plan is easily offset by the benefits it brings. Helps reduce risk, allows teams to anticipate potential problems or changes before they occur and take steps to mitigate any effects that could harm the project. Helps build buy-in. Project buy-in is the acceptance of the project by stakeholders who have agreed to the proposed action plan and is essential to the success of the project. Helps gather the expertise of your team. Helps create a realistic project schedule by identifying the resources needed to deliver specific tasks, how long you will need them for, and in what order. Helps align communication. Helps foster collaboration by coordinating work procedures among team members, encouraging ongoing constructive feedback. And helping to avoid delays to ensure tasks are completed on time and helps ensure resource availability. Some of the key tasks that need to be completed during the organizing and preparing phase include developing a scope document that defines the goals and objectives of the project, creating a work breakdown structure into manageable chunks, creating a schedule that outlines when each task will be completed, estimating the costs, Estimating resources required for completion. Formulating a risk management plan to identify potential risks and strategies for dealing with them. And creating a communications plan to report all necessary information. A project management plan may include several of the following plans. Requirements management plan. Establishes how requirements will be analyzed, documented, and managed. Keeps stakeholders up to date with requirements helps ensure that all stakeholders are aware of their roles and responsibilities in the requirements management process. Reducing confusion and miscommunication among stakeholders, which can lead to project delays or errors. Avoids project rework it also helps ensure that all requirements are properly documented, tracked and managed throughout the project life cycle, avoiding rework and ensuring that all stakeholders have access to up-to-date information on the progress of the project. Scope Management Plan Establishes how the scope will be defined, developed, monitored, controlled and validated. Project boundaries defined with a well-defined project scope. In addition to ensuring clarity on the results you will deliver, it also helps establish the limitations and boundaries of the project. On time and budget met it helps ensure that projects are completed on time and within budget. Fewer costly mistakes with the scope of work clearly defined. Confusion among team members is reduced and costly mistakes are avoided. Stakeholders informed of changes it helps keep stakeholders informed of progress and scope changes throughout the project. Life cycle. Schedule management plan. Establishes the criteria and activities for developing, monitoring, and controlling the schedule. Easier project tracking this is a document that summarizes the entire project and allows the project manager and sponsors to track and monitor progress with the greatest possible transparency. Probable delays identified allows stakeholders to be notified of any potential schedule changes or project delays, helping to ensure that project-related activities are completed on time and within budget. Easy risk tracking helps manage the project schedule, including how to identify potential risks and develop strategies to mitigate them. Cost Management Plan Establishes how costs will be planned, structured and controlled. It starts in the initial planning phase and continues until project completion and delivery. 
Project cost reduction it helps the project manager forecast expenses and prepare to act accordingly by implementing precautionary measures designed to reduce the overall costs of a project. Budget control it helps ensure all costs are accounted for and managed effectively to keep the project within your budget and avoid unexpected surprises in the future. Cost visibility provides visibility into how much money is being spent on each aspect of the project and prevents delays or overruns due to unexpected changes in scope or resources. Quality management plan. A quality management plan is a document that helps the project manager and the project team execute quality management and quality assurance actions. Establishes how an organization's policies, methodologies, and quality standards will be managed throughout the project life cycle. Assists the project manager and team in carrying out quality management and assurance actions with the aim of meeting project requirements and meeting customer needs. It determines quality policies and procedures relevant to project deliverables and processes, defines who is responsible for what, and documents compliance. Customers expect consistency. And by having production quality in any product or service you provide, you can consistently meet their quality expectations. And you know that the fewer mistakes, the less time and money you will have to spend on the project. The market is competitive and quality is something that differentiates your brand. Customers will notice if you create a quality product or service and will be loyal to your product or service. Loyal customers lead to brand value, and that means profitability. Resource Management Plan A resource management plan is a project planning document that details how you will identify, allocate, manage and release the resources needed for your project with the ultimate goal of minimizing waste, maximizing resource utilization, and reducing schedule variance and the budget. A resource management plan is crucial for all project management professionals as it helps monitor project expenses accurately and increases the efficiency of project decision making while helping to adjust project cash flows. It allows managers to complete projects with lower costs and efficient expenses, as it allows advance planning and also the appropriate combination of materials, capital goods and human resources to improve the economic efficiency of the project, avoiding last-minute unplanned actions. Resource management plans assist in the appropriate allocation of resources and the hiring of the necessary resources to fill existing skills gaps in the project team, complementing with the hiring of identified and recognized specialists for that project. Communications management plan. The communications management plan determines how to communicate more efficiently and effectively to the various interested parties establishes how, when and by whom information about the project will be managed and disseminated. It means that everyone involved in the project will clearly know who is responsible for what task, what steps are being taken, what the status of the project is, what results are expected and when. It makes it easier to share information and track responsibilities and ensure the successful completion of projects within budget and time limits. The benefits of having this plan include reducing the risks associated with poor communication, which would lead to a drop in productivity and also the loss of time and money on the project. Because the correct information is supplied to the right people at the right time, through the right channels, and with the right message. Risk Management Plan the risk management plan establishes how risk management activities will be structured and executed, allowing project managers to predict potential risks and reduce their negative impact, ensuring that risks are managed appropriately. It also helps to quickly identify and report risks to senior management as well as the project sponsor and team so they can take action and reduce the impact of negative risks that can negatively impact a business. Helps organizations identify potential threats and vulnerabilities that could affect their operations, finances and reputation, and be prepared to respond to risks as they arise, increasing the likelihood of project success and protecting the company in the event of a loss of money.
Risk management planning can also help companies identify opportunities to streamline operations, optimize resources and eliminate waste, thereby increasing the impact of opportunities. Procurement management plan. A procurement management plan describes the strategy, process, resources, and governance for acquiring and monitoring needed resources. Establishes how the project team will acquire goods and services external to the executing organization. The purchasing management plan contributes to less risk and greater efficiency in the contract acquisition and implementation process. Connecting short-term tactical purchases with the long-term organizational strategy, suppliers and stakeholders. Ensures transparency and decisions in the purchasing process so that all items and services are purchased appropriately and within the agreed deadlines so that projects and processes can ensure efficiency and success. In addition to being a business necessity, purchasing can be used as a competitive advantage when the acquisition of services and products is optimized to save money, time and resources and executed within the required quality criteria. Stakeholder Engagement Plan Establishes how stakeholders will be involved in project decisions and execution according to their needs, interests and impact. It helps to better understand everyone who can influence the project because it allows the identification, evaluation and mapping of the main stakeholders according to interests and influences, allowing the choice of an appropriate stakeholder management strategy that contributes to the success of the project. Helps you more effectively manage stakeholder expectations. If stakeholder expectations are not aligned with what is being implemented, they can pose a risk to the project if not managed properly. It helps to make stakeholders more satisfied by establishing a dialogue with them from the beginning, in a consistent and meaningful way, building a relationship of trust with those who influence the outcome of your project. They ensure that all stakeholders are kept updated on project progress and that their feedback is taken into account when making decisions. The project sponsor periodically asks the project manager how the project is progressing and also whether anything is not going as expected. The sponsor will want to know whether the project scope is progressing as expected, in other words, whether there have been no significant changes in scope. The sponsor will want to know whether the project schedule is progressing as expected, in other words, whether there have been no events that could delay the project completion date. And the sponsor will want to know whether the cost is within the initial plan, in other words, whether there have been any unforeseen events that could cause the initial budget to be exceeded. To be able to answer all of these questions, the project manager must compare the current scope, schedule, and cost with the scope, schedule, and cost estimated at the beginning of the project. And here are three important items that need to be included in the project management plan. Scope Baseline. This is a set of documents that define the approved scope. Ensuring clarity and alignment among all stakeholders, guiding teams throughout the project lifecycle. And ensuring that deliverables are aligned with stakeholder needs and expectations. It ensures that all project stakeholders have a clear understanding of the project breakdown structure. Project Requirements List estimated schedule, estimated budget, and a clear understanding of the project objectives, deliverables, milestones, and constraints. It helps in efficient allocation of resources including human resources, time, and budget. And also helps in avoiding scope creep by providing a clear definition of what is included in the project and what is not. This scope baseline will be used as a reference in future assessments to check whether the scope is being maintained or if it is undergoing any changes during the execution of the project. Schedule baseline contains the approved version of the schedule defined at the beginning of the project. It includes the original estimates, start dates, completion dates and other information that the project manager may want to baseline.
A schedule baseline also provides a reference point that helps you monitor and measure project progress and performance objectively and quantitatively during the periodic reviews that will be performed throughout the execution of the entire project. During periodic reviews, deviations from the project schedule will be identified and these actual results will be compared to the schedule baseline approved by stakeholders to assess whether the project schedule is ahead or behind schedule. The schedule baseline is the approved version of a schedule template that can only be changed through formal change control procedures. Cost baseline. A cost baseline is an estimate of the budget needed to successfully complete a project and is set at the beginning of the project. A cost baseline is a fixed set of approved costs which includes all estimated costs of resources, materials, salaries, and activities, established at the end of the planning phase, based on the approved project scope. The cost baseline is used to measure, monitor, and control the total cost of the project. A cost baseline is used to monitor and measure the project's actual costs against the planned costs. It helps to identify any variances or discrepancies that may occur during the project execution, such as cost overruns, underutilization of resources, or changes in scope.